Welcome to Cars and Deals. Finally, 2024 Geo Wagons arrived to the dealerships. I have one behind me and it's a unique one. I will tell you why in this video. I will talk about the changes between 23 and 24 year models of Geo Wagon. What changed? What can we expect in 2025? And what kind of deal we can expect to get on this G63 behind me? I think this G63 is unique because it comes in unique color. I've never seen this color on G-Wagon before, in fact on any Mercedes-Benz before. The name of this color is Indium Gray and it's something, I'll, I'll come closer, something between gray and a little bit of brown, even from certain angle it's like green. But I think with this particular choice of wheels and the front guard bar in silver, not in matte black, it looks natural, it looks good. And the best thing, this color is free. Mercedes-Benz normally charges three to $7,000 extra on G-Wagon colors, paint options, but this one comes with no charge. So what actually changed on 2024 G-Wagon compared to 23? Well, the price changed. <laughs> they sometimes don't change anything on the car, but they still raise the price. So that's what happened, they raised the price both on G63 and G550 and we still have exhaust pipes right on the side. They introduced few new different colors including the matte white that is available right now for custom production. But another, another interesting thing is the interior of this car. Look at this interior. You won't see a lot of G-Wagons with beige headliner. And this headliner has microfiber material, soft, nice luxury material that you expect in $200,000 car. By the way, this G-Wagon is right under $200,000. MSRP, it's around one ninety-five. but as a lot of you expect, if you're on the market for a G-Wagon, you know dealerships charge a markup on these G-Wagons and it's a little bit more than 200. So Mercedes-Benz doesn't have official news yet on 25, uh, they briefly spoke on 2025 G-Wagon. There is a, there are some news that there is going to be a mini G-Wagon that is smaller in size. This is the engine, by the way, almost 600 horsepower handcrafted at AMG plant with the name of the person that, who assembled it. So 25 will have the first refresh since 2019 and they say for a person who doesn't work for Mercedes-Benz and never owned one, you won't be able to tell the difference with the changes that they made. Uh, they're just gonna make it more aerodynamic. I hope that it's not gonna be too many changes because that's what people like in the G-Wagon. They like this masculine look. Um, so I hope it's not gonna be too round on the edges. But uh, they're also releasing the 
I think it's EQG, the electric G wagon, and it's probably gonna hit the dealerships in 2024. So that's the news on 2025 G wagon. By the way, what do you think about this G wagon right here? Look at this 23 inch, actually, actually 22 inch mile block wheels. There are 23 on GLS, but I never seen these silver monoblock wheels on a G Wagon. Something new. So, both of these Indian gray and black on black G Wagons are available at the moment. So, you can reach out to me if you guys are looking for a G Wagon, looking for a good deal. So, interior of the car has diamond stitching and it comes with the exclusive interior package and that in exclusive interior package doesn't on only in um, include this diamond stitched leather but also some cool features like massage seats and side bolsters that are dynamic so when you make a turn the side bolster moves with you kind of holding you in place another uh, interesting feature of this G-Wagon is steering wheel. Look at this steering wheel. Not sure if you can see it on the video, but it comes in brown. Never seen brown steering wheel on G-Wagon. It's a brown dash here and nice beige leather, Napa leather with beige armrest. A lot of people don't like this because you get too much wear and tear on this armrest. But let's take a look at the display and see if they changed anything. Maybe updating it to different software with MVX. So it's actually the last Mercedes-Benz that doesn't have the new MVX software where this screen is a touch screen. Uh, on other models but this one as you can see it's not a touch screen so you still have this touchpad to control the seats to control uh, not the seats I'm sorry the display and then you can control your settings of the seats in the menu so you have different massage options MG unit control is standard with a flat bottom AMG steering wheel you can turn on or turn off the AMG exhaust so you can still use CarPlay but not wireless you have to connect it with the cable you can change the designs of instrument cluster you have a few different options so what happened to the price the price went up as far as the base price this car is 195 but the economy has its effect on the price of G-Wagons people always have money there are people that always have money to pay cash for these expensive cars and they're still out there but there are less buyers than before and we can see it in as a reflection in markups on this car so before if you know during COVID, dealers were able to charge 100, I've even heard $150,000 over MSRP. Some insane numbers and people paid it. Not anymore. It went down to 50 and then last year and this year it's been staying around two. Twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars at least in California, because California is a very, very competitive market with all the top Mercedes-Benz dealerships located in California. Some of them, some of them are in New York, but most of the dealerships uh, that sell the most Mercedes-Benz cars are in New York. They've been around twenty-five thousand, but since this shipment came in last week, we've seen some dealerships offering 15 to even ten thousand dollars on these g-wagons which is pretty insane over msrp 
so we'll see where the market goes but right now our dealership is comfortable around twenty thousand dollars maybe a little bit less for all local customers but we're back to selling um, these cars out of state uh, so we'll not do fifteen thousand dollars over to out of state customers but we can still sell it and if it's cash transactions for those who are reaching out to me from out of state so uh, this is the uh, markup situation on these g wagons and if you guys want to see more videos like this subscribe to my channel please like this video and i will see you in my next video